This is the latest uh, tinkering effort that I've been doing. Ignore the fact that this is inside of Legos. This is just a, a Raspberry Pi. I needed something to hold it inside of so that it was easier to grab. So you can see, it's hard to do with one hand. You can see the Raspberry Pi here. This is the computer itself. This is a 4 gig um, SD RAM card. That's the power, HDMI out, uh, wireless keyboard and mouse out, and Cat5 out. Um, so the actual, the reason it's inside of a Lego box is so I can grab it and not have to touch the actual motherboard, say so like that. But I actually loaded a new system on top of this card itself called Open Elec. And this is the uh, interface of it itself. Um, that's the weather section. Um, but you can see inside of it, this is just absolutely awesome. It's basically a, a media player that's playing off of. Uh, uh, off the box itself. I have videos on here. Um, they're all MP4 format. They're, these are actually s streaming from a box um, that's upstairs. So like uh, this is uh, a Born Ultimatum that I've been playing um, and run into it. Boom, start it. There it is. This is actually a a version that it's not I didn't rip it but um, so that's it plan you can escape go to um, any other movie itself so if I escape you can stop it Gonna have music on here, programs on here, uh, then the system settings. The, the pr I, I don't have any programs on it yet, um, but the uh, system settings basically you have the ability to modify all of the the aspects of it. Um, it's absolutely incredible um, and it's working flawlessly I have some music on here but the one I did was th there's some mp3s but they're not playing right now because they're they're stupid um, so hold on so you can see I don't know if you can see that it's from a SMB share, so it's actually off a, a file share from another computer that's um, actually sharing it to here. So it comes into the back of this computer through, or it comes into the Raspberry Pi with uh, uh, Ethernet, and then it goes out HDMI into the TV. So I'm actually going to end up hooking it up to a. a video uh, PC monitor here shortly um, then just any other data any other pictures um, you can also look through uh, very easy just to skim through them and, and look at them and that's uh, that's the X, XBMC player on my TV. It took me, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes to get set up after I ripped it uh, from a, uh, on a Linux box, you have to actually mount and burn the image onto the SD card. I'll show some images uh, of uh, how to do that um, here shortly. As it sits right now, I have everything configured fairly good. This uh, 
RSS reader along the bottom just reads from whatever RSS feed that, I, that you can configure on it, or that you do configure on it. It's absolutely insane. Really cool what we've done. So that's all of our storms. Pretty sweet. As far as the configuration options, um, this particular one is running extremely high. So this is the, the typical process that it's run. You can see the CPU is almost constantly pegged, mainly because it's running on a Raspberry Pi. It's running on that 4 gig card right there. Thinking awesome. It's currently running at 1920 by 1080. And this only has 256 megs of RAM in it, so it's using quite a bit. But to start up the show, it's extremely easy click the right buttons resume and right now these are mp4 so they are crappy format really small but there's born and it's uh, really pixelated and forwarding it and escape out Switch to uh, another movie. Switch to Get Smart. Uh, the best movie ever. <laughs> 